and we're here at Celebration with Robert Watts from the original trilogy. Welcome to our show. Thanks, DJ. Good to be here. But we've got something here from your shoot. So this was from The Empire Strikes Back. So can you tell us, can you share with us what memories come to mind when you look at that? How cold it was. <laughs> Absolutely. No, to be absolutely honest, it went very well. And, um, and uh, the one story really is that uh, we had a blizzard scene scheduled to go in the studio because you can't sh create a blizzard in the open air. And we got a blizzard. And um, so Harrison Ford wasn't with us because he wasn't in anything except the blizzard scenes. We hadn't brought him. I rang the studio and said, get Harrison on a flight to Oslo. Wow. And I got a hold of the location manager. We were cut off because you could only access this place by train in winter. And because of the blizzard, the train was blocked. I got the location manager, I gave him a bottle of whiskey, and I said, Harrison will be in Oslo. We got him, and he went down on a snowplow. And I gave him the whiskey. He got Harrison, picked him up, put him on the snowplow, and brought him up to Finster. And I waited up for him. It was, uh, he arrived at 1 a.m. And at that point, we kind of broke a few rules, because I said, Harrison, we start at 7 tomorrow. He, no, he, he was so such fun, he laughed, he said, call my agent, you know, and then he laughed, and he's great, he's such a pro. And that's how, why we ended up shooting the blizzard scene in a real blizzard. But this thing, uh, the entire crew, we were all dressed identically, so that's why we have our names here, because otherwise we didn't know who was who. Yeah. In the and snow, everyone's covered up. And you can see from this, I'm wearing an armband. You can just see it. Uh, each department had a different color. So we had names, and I could see who the camera crew were, because we all looked identical. Right. We were dressed identically. That's incredible. So that's why it's like that, and that's why my name's on it, because that's how I knew who the other, because if you look here, when we were, that's all you saw of me because I had the scarf over, you know, it's down there for the picture. So there we go. And this is a very famous picture that you're signing. How many signings are you doing at this convention? There seems to be I, thousands of people. I have no idea. I mean, I'm not an actor, so uh, uh, I'm not, I, I don't think I was popular. But this was my brief moment in Return of the Jedi, right? Yeah, let's talk about the cameo. Yeah, well, this cameo, I didn't know I was going to do till the day we shot it. We had a couple of extras in to do it, and somebody said, why don't you and Richard do it? Richard Markham, the director. So we dressed up and did it. This job took an hour and a half. Okay. This job took two years. True. And this is what they like better than this. Is that true? Oh, yeah, because, it, you know, they help. Well, I'd say that you're really a god in many people's minds because you brought it all together. Well, yeah, to bring it all together. Indeed, it, it's a total collaborative eff effort. Everybody on a movie has one job, yep. basically, and that's a guy who sweeps out the stage to everybody else to help the director tell a story. Yep. That's what we're all there for. True. Now, with your scene as Lieutenant Watts, there, um, are you the one that they actually pulled out of the ATST? Was it Chewbacca that pulled a character out? Absolutely, DJ. Yes, I, I was the one that was pulled out, and I, am, I think I'm the only Star Wars character called by his own name. Nice. And I hold the rank of lieutenant in the British Army. So I'm not only called by my own name, I'm actually called by a rank I hold. And Lucasfilm didn't know that. A very nice fluke. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Spooky, as Dame Edna would say.